what's going on guys it's anthony with the wrenched out garage thank you for tuning in and we have another parts install here at the wrenched out garage we're super excited as we are collaborating once again with acs composite and we've got something super cool for your 6th gen camaro so let's dive right into this once again these guys packaged it in this little suitcase box i absolutely love the design of this these guys are brilliant has their logo running right across and what we're going to be talking about and i'm going to show you today is the drive plane or canard for your six gen now one thing to note acs composite they build off of oem spec which is fantastic i'm a huge fan of oem as it fits right and it also looks right and these guys utilize uh, OEM spec which is fantastic so let's take a look at what comes in the box now first off it does include detailed instructions I already did open this box so I could go through and make sure everything I did a test fit all of that stuff just to make sure that I'm good to go so I can supply you guys with the best possible install video so it does come with detailed instructions as mentioned uh, this is a fairly simple install. You'll just need a couple of tools, which include a drill with a 3 16 bit, rivet gun. Uh, I would suggest taking the opportunity to go ahead and clean your front fascia, just because that's where we're going to be doing the work. If you guys haven't cleaned it in a while, this is the perfect opportunity. Grab some of your cleaner, clean it up, wash your car. Uh, just so you're not trying to adhere anything to the car uh, on a dirty surface. We are all cleaned up, and let's dive into what we've got here. Uh, once again, they come with these cool decals. All of the rivets that you're going to need for this install. More of these additional courtesy cards, which are really cool. Looks like that. It says right on there, thank you for sharing our passion and providing excellent products, ACS team. Now I've done obviously some work with ACS and these guys are great. They're very fast at shipping and getting you guys taken care of. So make sure, check out this product. The link is down below. I do have one of the dive planes on the car. It's not fully installed. I did that on the test fit, so I'm gonna show you this one. This is how it comes in the box. So it comes wrapped in this nice felt liner. And unlike the competition, let me let me be clear on this, because I have looked into dive planes, the canards, uh, because I think it looks great. It's inspired from the ZL11LE, the track car version of the six gen Camaro. And this is not just some textured piece of plastic that is flat and looks like crap. These guys really, in my opinion, are the best uh, dive plane on the market. This is the gloss black version. And here it is. So as you can see, it has this nice side scoop on it. And we will be 3M taping it here. And then let me show you the back side of it. So you, we have a couple of rivets on the back side and a couple of rivets on the front that we're going to do to adhere this properly. Now, dive planes are functional. They are to obviously move the air right up beside the car, adding a more aerodynamic uh, design to the front of the vehicle. Now, a couple of things to note with these guys. Let me see if I can get up close to show you here. So keep note on this little tiny lip right down there on the bottom. Now, these are available in two different styles. You have the painted gloss bl black version, which is f pretty much flawless. Let me see if I can get some light. Look at that light reflection. Comes in just perfect. There's, no, there's zero issue, zero scuffing, zero everything on this. And it also comes in the unpainted version, which obviously, if you have a... Uh, car that you don't want it to be black just get it painted or paint it yourself so let's uh get this over to the car and do a quick install again this this install is really quick very simple you will 
be drilling into the front of your car. So keep that noted. Let's get over to the front of the Camaro and do this install. All right guys, so here we are. We are at the front of the car and I did clean this up. It's got uh, some alcohol wipes right down here on the side. And what you're gonna do, make sure and get in here and clean this to the best of your ability, this lower uh, lamp grill right here. So I'm gonna show you real quick before I do the install on how, to, how we're gonna do this. Now this part right here where I mentioned the lip earlier is actually gonna tuck in and the fitment on these is fantastic. So let me move let me move this just a little bit closer. So right here, right into this lower, this goes in and you do have the 3M taping. You should make sure everything is aligned properly. And then what you're going to do is see if I can pick the noise up. It's going to snap just like that just like you heard and then it actually holds by itself so let me move the camera forward a little bit so there it is pretty much on point it's fairly straight and looks fantastic so what i'm going to do is check the fitment it comes right right about to the top of the back of your front turn signal here so that looks good so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull, pull this tape and then we'll get ready to drill. And I do wear gloves whenever I'm doing painted surfaces just because I don't want to get my fingerprints everywhere. Um, so I'm going to separate this tape and then we will go from there. And so just like with anything, with this 3M tape, what you can do is pull it away, just the tip of it. Check your, check your locations. It goes right to, it should go right to the little body line. And then once you're on it, then you'll pull your tape. And you want to make sure oops, pulled it a little too tight so there it is I'm gonna make sure everything is adhered correctly and then let me show you here so I'll pull the rest of that tape out but back behind this let me move it back. I know it's difficult to see, but back tucked behind here is where you're going to put two of the rivets. And then on this under portion right here. And with this center part, with this center part locked in, it does a pretty good job. So let me show you. Let me show you this real. Let me show you this real quick see if I can do this so the other two rivets go under here all right so this should be fairly tight against here it's not moving a whole lot you want this to be as close to the body as you can you can see how seamless this is beautiful design these guys really do a fantastic job with this and then you've got the exterior winglet so I think we'll just keep it right where it sits and then when you go to drill this don't get crazy with drilling it um, I believe it says a fourth inch I may be wrong but just be real easy on drilling it
All right, so with this, you obviously got to be just be careful when you slide it up like that, and then you'll get it right in there. So just take your time and then drill it out, and then it goes the same for this lower one. You just got to hold it up. All right, guys, so we got this lower portion ready to go, so now we're going to do the back side. And then three go into the back, lower, mid, and then toward the top. Same thing, we're just gonna drill, just be very careful. Now when you get these starting to fit, so you can see them right there, one and two, and then I'll get the third one here in a second. You may have to wedge it in. I mean, these guys should be pretty snug. All right guys, so that concludes us installing the dive planes on the Camaro. So let's take a look at it. guys so thank you for checking out the install on the dive planes or canards for the six gen camaro uh acs composite did a fantastic job on these parts for this camaro so if you're interested in them the links to them will be down below along with their website check it out they've got a lot of cool camaro parts and corvette parts and a lot of other things going on so make sure and check them out as always, guys, thank you for tuning in to the Wrench Out Garage. If you guys haven't subscribed, take the opportunity, hit that subscribe button down below for news, installs, reviews, and so much more every single week here on our YouTube channel. Until next time, guys, if you're riding or driving, do it safely, and we'll see you in the next video.